Oh, hello, everyone. How are you? Today, we have the honor of doing a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's the first root key signing ceremony for Project SigStore. We have Dan, Lawrence, and a crew of a who's who in signature and software supply chain on this Juneteenth holiday. Spotlight Live starts now. All right, you all, I bet you're wondering about the hair, but it'll get to that in a moment. All right. So first off, I want to thank the CNCF for allowing us to do this. Tough is one of the projects that we're going to, that's being used as part of the, um, the, the process and ceremony today. So it's cool. And it's awesome. Again, thank you to the, uh, the cloud native computing foundation. Um, and so I want to go through the CNCF disclaimer first for, so that this is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that would be in violation of that code of conduct. Conduct. So basically, please be respectful of all. All right. So the hair. I'm going to bring in the first guest. It's kind of the uh, the master master ceremonies or the leader here for this event. It's Dan Lawrence. So uh, Dan, spotlights on you, my friend. Am I using my cliche over and over again? I'm using my like tagline. Spotlight. All right. I like to, uh, so like you know how you inspired. I grew out my hair this week. I was like, "Look, dude, I'm like, I need to catch up with you." So, what do you think? Is it good? Yeah, not everybody can grow hair as fast as you can, but I, I gotta say, I'm impressed. I think I just saw you a week ago, and you look completely different. You see, you see what I do? This is what I wanted to do for the for this Sig Store root ceremony. I wanted to like bring my A game, grow out some hair, all that kind of stuff, right? All right, so so listen, I, like we we there. You wrote a blog post about this. I kind of want to talk about. Um, just like the whole overall process. Can you, can we talk about what's going to go on today? Is that cool? Yeah, sure. I'll give a quick overview um, of what's going to be happening, who's going to be joining us and all that stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. So we're looking here. Um, you can see kind of an overview of the process and everything we're going through today. Uh, but at a high level, what we're doing is establishing a root of trust for the entire SigStore project. So this is a bunch of different cryptographic keys that we're going to be putting together into one file um, at a high level. And then each key is going to sign that entire file. So we're going to have five keys and five signatures over that file. Um, and what this is going to do is uh, give us the root for everything else we're going to be signing and distributing and logging for entire SigStore project. Um, the goal of SigStore is to improve supply chain security for all of open source. And so what this actually uh, means is that we're going to be opening up this route for other open source projects to use as well. Um, and so we're doing this, uh, this is for open source. So we're doing this just like open source is meant to be. We're doing this as a community effort, uh, which means we had to design this a little bit differently than most key ceremonies. So there are five of us joining today from you know, different projects, different communities, different companies, different industries. Um, and we're all going to be taking our brand new YubiKeys out of the package live here, showing that we're doing all of this correctly. Um, doing this process, there are five different steps we're going to be going through to add these keys, sign all of these keys and do everything on GitHub. Um, and the audience is supposed to participate today. Um, we need people to verify these steps as we go, especially today because GitHub Actions has decided to take the afternoon off. Um, hug ops to all of the GitHub Actions SREs trying to get this back up. Um, but yeah, we've got some manual commands that we're going to be showing. And uh, people at home can thumbs up LGTM or PRs, post their outputs and stuff to help verify and make sure we're doing all this correctly. Fantastic. Again, it's, it's a well-oiled machine we have today. And with that, let's bring in the rest of our key folks. All right. So I'm going to start with uh, Marina. Hey, Marina, before you, I'm going to bring in everybody else as well. I'm going to bring in the, the key, key folks. So it's going to be Santiago and Bob Galloway and Luke Hines. Uh, let me get rid of this caption here real quick. All right, y'all. State, state your name and tell us a little bit about yourself. Let's start with you, Marina, in the order I put people in. Is that cool? All right, yeah. Hi, I'm Marina. I am a PhD student at NYU. Um, I'm a maintainer of the update framework, or TUF, as it's often called. And 
as well as some of, I do a lot of work in on that and other um, projects in secure software distribution. And so, yeah, excited to be here today. Fantastic. All right, Santiago, you're next. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Santiago Torres. Uh, I am a assistant professor of uh, ECE at Purdue University, and I care about making sure that people produce software securely and that people consume software securely. Uh, and I think part of that whole picture is being here and making sure that we have a way to trust how uh, software delivery pipelines work. Fantastic. OK, uh, Bob, you're up next. Thanks. Hey, hey folks, Bob Calloway, um, a software engineer at Red Hat, um, also one of the steering committee members for SigStore. Um, super excited about kicking this off today and uh, kind of seeing the SigStore project flourish. Fantastic. Last but certainly not least, I guess the co-creator, the creator, right, Luke, of, of uh, SigStore. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So it's great to be here. Really excited about this. Yeah, so Luke Hines, I um, work at Red Hat in the CTO office, um, have a security engineering team that we that we have there. And um, yeah, I've, I've kind of worked around open source and security for a long, long time now. Uh, another project I work on and, and help get off the ground is Keyline. So it's another CNCF security project. And, and yeah, it's just great to be with these folks. You know, I consider them friends now. You know, we've... Uh, it's been really a lot of fun building this project and very much a, a community effort. So it's great to see this, this get off. Fantastic. And again, thank you all. And, and obviously Dan, you all know, so that is our five, right, Dan, keep me, keep me honest here. I, I, you know, this is my first one. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity y'all. So <laughs> this is it. This is the initial five. So as, as part of this, we've got this whole rotation process and kind of the, the root is going to be living and breathing just like a normal open source project. So this is the first five for the first four months. We're going to be meeting again, right sometime right around KubeCon in Los Angeles uh, to sign the next one, rotate somebody out and somebody new in. Awesome. Our powers combined in the chat. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> So, so folks that are watching this, now we have 72 folks joining. Thank you so much. It's amazing to have folks joining. And again, by the way, follow cloudnative.tv. You obviously have if you're chatting, so it's awesome. We love that. Um, we have a lot of other amazing programming here as well. But uh, with that, for further ado, uh, let's bring in a couple of the witnesses. So to explain the witnesses part. So they have to essentially witness you all taking this out of the pocket pack packages and all that fun stuff. Am I right? Did I kind of cliff note or TLDR that too much? Close, yeah. yeah it's, right. it's 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 uh, a it's it, it's an important role. Um, so the, the the cryptographic keys we're using the hardware tokens and stuff can produce these cryptographic attestations to kind of make sure we're doing this correctly from a hardware and crypto perspective. But this is about the community, so it's about you know knowing who we are, and making sure we're who we say we are, and, and stuff like that. So we've invited some special guests that a lot of people here probably know to, you know authenticate ourselves say <laughs> we are who we say we are how they know us and then kind of ask us some fun questions too all right so i'm going to bring in first person my buddy trishank how are you my man having trouble hearing you bud oh man you're muted you're muted This is proof we're doing it live. If we recorded yeah. this, we would have gotten it perfectly right. <laughs> yep, it's 2020 again. Oops. Uh, you're on mute. All right, so it's okay, Trishank. We're going to move on to the next person. You're here. You're a witness. We just need your eyes, not your voice, okay? So it's good. We'll roll with it. All right, so we have next up uh, Mike Malone. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm Mike Malone. Uh, I'm a distributed systems and security nerd. Um, I'm CEO of a company called Small Step. We're a cloud native security company and we maintain a popular open source tool chain for internal public key infrastructure. Um, so today's events are definitely relevant to my interests. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Fantastic. All right. Last but certainly not least, this guy, I think he wants to be on every single one of my shows. I don't know what's going on. It's, there he is. <laughs> Leave it hey, hey, I heard there was going to be good here uh, today, so <laughs> that's a pop by. <laughs> uh, my name is Stephen Augustus. I am the head of open source for Cisco. I'm also uh, one of the Kubernetes release managers and SIG release co-chair. Um, so, hey, I... Again, I heard there was going to be good here and maybe snacks or something. Like, 
There was no guarantee of snacks, Dan. I don't know what you're what you're saying. We have a very, you know, we have a kind of little budget. We got to get a bigger budget. We got more people watching. We'll have a budget. All right, all right. So last was certainly not this is kind of as I think you're pretty much like the hands-on keyboard. Am I right? Like you're going to be do, helping out everybody and kind of going and doing what we need to do. Can you ex tell, tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I'm an engineer uh, on Dan's team at Google, and I love things uh, all related to like privacy and security. I have like a big hobby about math and cryptography, so um, I feel like it was right for me to double check what they're doing is is sound. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to catch them making mistakes and figure out what happens. All righty. So let's keep this moving over here. Dan, kind of what are we, what are we doing first? We're sh who's sharing the screens first? Let's go. Let's make this rain. Yeah, so Osri, you've got some slides and stuff explaining how the process works. But the, the first step here is that we're all going to be setting up and adding our public keys to the GitHub repository. So it's at sigstore Ooh, slash you. root hyphen signing, um, which you should there should be in the chat. One second. Dan, can, you, can you speak real quick just to make sure you're on? Oh yeah, hi guys, hi, hi. Perfect. Perfect. Can you hear me? Yes. Great, thanks. Don't know what happened, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead, so well, Osra shows an overview of uh, the repo and, and what's happening. This first step is important. This is the one where we get the actual public keys published in GitHub. And so we're gonna do this like a normal open source project. There's gonna be five PRs that get sent up with all of our public keys. Um, we're going to do some verifications and using the Yuba keys that we're gonna be taking out of our packages live everybody can watch that they're brand new on the stream uh, and we will be adding them uh, to the repository that way once everything is checked out we'll merge those prs correctly and then we can start the signing process so everybody uh, the scripts that we're going to be running you can follow along by watching are in the scripts directory we're going to be starting out with step one so take out your keys everybody brand new yubi keys here awesome <laughs> Take them out, plug them in, and run step one. And if all goes hold, well, please, hold, please, hold them up again. Witnesses, please verify that all of them have it up there. <laughs> we need serial numbers. Come on. Look, look, look <laughs> at hold, hold. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, what are those uh, serial numbers? Look, 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 Dan, we were in a big operation over here. We have to make sure that we, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is all good. We need to take a there. picture. Someone take a screen cap right park, now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Nice. Did, nice. did someone so, mention there'd be prizes for the verifiers? Oh, yeah. so now's your chance to, to really prove yourself. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Once we get these up, we can talk about the prizes. So, also while we're doing this, um, to make sure this isn't recorded and everything, as we're, we're proving these, uh, the verifiers are going to be asking us some tricky questions to test us and make sure that we're, we are doing this live. So. Wait till we get these up so you don't distract us from running these complicated git commands, and then we should be good to go. Folks at home, are you able to see the screen okay? I just want to make sure. Just give me a give me a thumbs up in the chat. If you need us to make it a little larger, we can al also do that. I think they're more upset that we are not serving pineapple pizzas. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on, everyone. Moving on. I know who it is. Magno. I'm kicking you out of this chat. I'm telling you, I have that power now. All right, out of here, guy. All right. No, I'm just I was kidding. hoping for some Fryhofer cookies. No real trust. <laughs> right there, Azra. Right there. All right, good. All right, so my PR is created with my key inside of it. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. So everyone following at home, let's just make sure we give the URL so everybody knows where to go. Yep, you can github.com slash sigstore slash root dash signing. Um, so if you go to pull requests, people will start trickling in theirs. And what I'm going to do is I am going to act as verifier here. So, oh, that's great. See, I passed. Um, all right <laughs> there. Um, so what hardware condition we're going to be doing right now, um, if you want like a rough overview, feel free to read this on your own time. Um, but this verification script um, that I'm going to run uh, is going to check that the certs added in Dan's PR, which I'll show you in just a second, are all chained uh, valid. Um, and then after that, I'll just be like, you know, doing some manual checks to make sure that Dan didn't post something on the side that doesn't match up. Um, so, all right, so what you need to do is, if you wanna follow along, by the way, and run these scripts, um, all you need to do is clone and fork the directory, go in there and then follow along with the commands that I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna verify PR number, two right here. 
Nice, I see some thumbs up. Um, thank you for those. Uh, running this, what I get is verify 078778. Going to the PR, seeing what files he added, looks to line up with the serial number right there. So what I'm doing is verifying, verifying the cert chain that he added from the key cert to the device cert, all the way up to Yubico's root cert. Um, then what I'm just gonna do, just to, to kind of show you this first one, um, we can manually verify with OpenSSL. So if you copy and paste these commands in here, um, you'll see that it verifies okay. And what I wanna show you right now is if I go in and take the key certificate, uh, print that out, I'll get the PEM encoded key certificate, which should line up with this pub key that I see right here. Um, so this is the kind of verification we're doing. We're extracting out the serial number, making sure it lines up with the directory and verifying this chain. All this does is uh, verify that Dan did in fact uh, generate the public key on the device. Um, so I'm gonna go give this a, an LGTM right here, approve that. Again, if you do this, feel free to leave a comment, LGTM it, we're gonna give out prizers to random people who are verifying. Um, so feel free to add in your output. I'm gonna go ahead in the background and, and continue verifying things. Um, feel free to watch. Yeah, and Magno had exactly what we have these special guests here for. So we should all show today's printed newspaper. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't have newspapers. So that's why we brought Mike and Trishank and Steven. So you all have some questions for us, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Mike, do, do, do you want to start first? Sure. Um, let's start with Dan, since uh, uh -oh. <laughs> you're, you're, our, you're our host here. Um, can you visit reddit.com? Uh -oh. Maybe do it um, incognito. I want like a logged out. <laughs> and tell me what the number one story is on Reddit right now. And how many of this could be this could be potentially dangerous. That's, that's a very interesting <laughs> question. Yeah. All right. I Is got that products? Work story. It says uh, on the top of reddit.com, there are 59.7 thousand uh, points or votes. Uh, your consciousness is sent back to when you were at age 15 and you maintain all of your current knowledge and experience. What do you do? So, that is a deep that question. Is what I, I see. I, and, uh, I I vouch for this. This is actually true. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, can you answer the question? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> <else? laughs> oh man, uh, what do I do? Buy Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> buy Tesla. If you <laughs> if you can't answer, it's not legit. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to chime in. Um, the reason why there was one close from 15 minutes ago was a test run because GitHub Actions was out. Um, so feel free to discard that. That was, uh, I think, Dan's previous key. So there was nothing uh, pushed to the repo. Yeah, we, we cleared the repos before this. Um, there's an archived copy, actually. So we did a whole bunch of test runs. We should mention this. There's an archived repo called Six Door Root Signing Practice, where we did all of our previous test runs with uh, different keys. And then we archived that one, we did it, renamed it over to here, and then we did a couple test runs 15 minutes before this started because CI never works the first time in a new repo. That's the law of CI. And of course, GitHub Actions was down at the time, so the law was proved correct. But it came back as we started this ceremony. <laughs> There's a, somebody named Kim Sturb says, answer the question, Dan. Uh -oh, did you answer right. the question? Uh, Stop stalling. I don't remember what it was. Let's Look, Trishank actually sent me a private <laughs> message. He's very upset. He's just not showing. <laughs> My consciousness is sent back to when you were at age 15. So that, still I'm there. not sure I understand the question. <laughs> I'm loving all these verifications, everyone. Cool. Love it. Yeah, and then the the prizes um, for verifiers. We have we all right, look, look. these YubiKey experience packs. So if you want these, it's fancy inside. You get a whole bunch of different keys. These are some of the same ones we're using today. So verifiers, keep going. So Dan, yeah. I think I think what the question is really trying to say in Reddit is, if you could go back to 15, would you huddle and buy Bitcoin? What would you do with your life savings? I don't know how much you had in your piggy bank back then. Um, yeah, it probably would have been enough if I put it into 
Bitcoin or something like that to be useful today, as long as I got out at the right time. Just kind of shocking. Everybody says uh, I wanted to brush my teeth more or something like that. Like that's a dumb <laughs> answer, right? Wait, what? Is really what you come up with? Wear sunscreen is it one of those answers? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There was a famous song to that effect. I forgot by whom. Baz Luhrmann or something. All right, are we good for Baz step? Baz Luhrmann. All right. Yeah. I, yeah. I have another question. If we're ready for one. Um, maybe I'll give this to Luke. What is the current temperature in Tokyo? Oh, okay. <laughs> but he needs to go to Tokyo. Googling it doesn't count. <laughs> uh, so keep in mind, um, 21 centigrade. And it's raining. It's 3 a.m. in Tokyo. <laughs> just, just to, what I see uh, too. I had to switch to Tenerife. Too much information. If you want to chime in, uh, CTL Fish, I think, uh, how do we publish that Verify succeeded? Go, go ahead and give a comment. Um, show you what you did, um, any extra commands you did. Um, yeah. If you have a GitHub account, feel free to comment right here. I'm going to go ahead and start merging the ones with multiple approvals, um, and then we'll move on whenever ready. <laughs> What's with all the pineapple pizza hate? <laughs> this is going down <laughs> in history. Like this, this is like irrevocable right now. <laughs> it's a wonderful day to be alive. So let's move on and do what we need to do. No more pineapple. All right. So once these all get merged, one person will run step 1.5, which just kind of joins these up into one file, and then we'll start signing after that. Osra did a bunch of awesome work here to figure out how to do all this in a way that would be free of Git merge conflicts so that we could do this in parallel instead of all having to go one at a time. So, Osra, the true hero of today. You all are great. Osra, props, you know, right here. I'm so glad that all this verification is working for other people besides me because I was seriously concerned. <laughs> it's it's like you know five people rooted in in one person. <laughs> so who's gonna do step one point five? We should get the chat do? to vote. Yeah, to elect someone. yeah, yeah. Anybody want to elect idea. someone? It's a great idea. <laughs> Any volunteers? Who, who's who's up? Who wants a volunteer? Everybody was all about the pineapple. You can't get it. You know, immerse yourself in this <laughs> process, you all. For God's sake. I'll, tell you what, I, I'll go, but I'm the one that stuff no, always no. breaks on. So. Hold on, Luke. We, the people have spoken. Uh, Mike Malone. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. No, he's really a key holder. But Mike, are you set up for, uh, for the GitHub repository, or, or you want to pass that on to someone else? You know, I haven't pulled. If that's all I need, I've been verifying and running the verify scripts. So uh, sure. tell me what right. look at here. I was in the middle of verifying, um, but I can try. Yeah. All you need to do is run script step 1.5. I'm not going to run it, but if this is a step that anyone can run, because all it does is collect all the data that the five key holders let us have. Okay. And uh, after I run it, You'll just you should see like, uh, yeah, you should see a pull request window open up and that'll, uh, yeah, just click the okay. UI button. I'm running it right now. You might have to set your GitHub username and stuff so we can send the pull request correctly, but. I got an error. <laughs> Dot slash tough, no such file or directory. Do I oh, need yeah. to? Uh, yeah, zero. give me step zero. Step oh, zero okay. just set up. We'll let it happen. Sometimes you got a good go cash. <laughs> this is Dan Hare is the only good thing to come from the pandemic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about my hair, Dan. Of course. <laughs> clearly, that. clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. could take a bit of time to pull in all the uh, 
your go montage. Tough, so. All right, should we even go for somebody up next? You want to go to somebody else, or what's what's our story? What are we doing? Your screen is shared, Oz, or you could just do it so people can watch. Yeah, I'll go for it. Um, I think I should have step zero in here already done from before. Uh, yep. All right. And let's go for step 1.5. Watch it live happen. Cross your fingers. All righty. Just pushing and I'm going to open up this new branch. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go here. Click on that link. There we go. Set up the root. Let's compare it. Uh, Dan, Ooh. I think uh, I there. I'm sorry, Dan. I think you got to do it. What happened? There's a question from Jacques Chester. And the question is, is it's a valid question or a thought is action is, can we show the script source in the screen share for posterity? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, I'll do that. Um, Dan, you mind running it and I'll show the, the script? Sure. Yeah, what happened when you ran it? Just curious. Um, my branch from like the, the deletion. Oh, um, oops. Yeah. So right. yeah, so basically what's here. going on is um, if I go into scripts right here uh, and I'll show you step 1.5 that Dan is running in the background over here. Uh, we're setting up our git state. Um, and then over here, uh, we're running this tough init repository with the four targets that we're, um, that we're adding to the uh, metadata. Um, the targets are right here. This is also a good point for like verifiers to go and check. Um, but what we have here is the record public key, which you can find um, on record.sigstore.dev slash API slash v1 slash log. Um, slash public key. So you can actually download the public key. I know that was a garbage mess, um, but this is the public key. And you can also go ahead, find the full CO certificate. Um, that's shown right here on our full CO repository. Um, so these are the targets that we're verifying. Um, how are you? And so can you show the script source? Yeah. So let me show you the actual like tough binary source. And I'll just display that until uh, I merge that PR. Um, Jacques, and I also want you to verify, like, you know, go ahead and give a thumbs up after she's done that. So we've satisfied that question for you. Not very satisfying. We're going to do a little bit of a source dive. This is the actual command. Um, and then the init script right here. So it's a mess, um, but it's setting up a bunch of JSON right here. We're adding lots of expirations. Let's go ahead and check the source. I'll keep that displayed. Um, let's see, Robert. go back to root signing. All right, setting up the root. So let's go ahead and check what's going on here. Um, verifiers, please go ahead and verify that we have five placeholder signatures, our expirations in about six months. We've got our five keys here with the Shaws matching up with uh, the public keys. And we've got five root keys with a threshold of three for each top level role here. So expirations look good. Yeah, good question. It depends on the threshold. Yep. Um, yep, threshold is three out of five. For safety reasons, we're just signing all five today um, just because we can. It's good always to have all of us here. Um, and then these are the targets that we're just adding, which I just showed you before. So yeah, verifiers, if you go ahead and verify a couple of those things, that'd be great. Yeah, so yeah, the three out of the five is our threshold for us to make any changes to this. We have to have three signatures from these keys and it is good for six months. So sometime in the next six months, we have to do this again. Um, and that's when we'll all start doing, you know, rotating people in and out. So yeah, we can't all get on a plane together in the next four months, but we'll be kind of rotating these things forever. There's a question yeah. on how, how are you going to protect your Yubi keys? Do you have backups in case your keys are lost or destroyed or stolen? That's from Andrea Deidre. I've got a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. That's a good question. 
<laughs> yeah, so, it, so we all have backups, and to you know, rotate one of these out to insert a backup, we would have to get the other four, or at least three out of the other four people to signify that that is the new correct one. Uh, so if two of us lose them at the same time, we're still good. If three do, then it's bad. So we've got to meet pretty quickly and re, uh, refresh a backup if somebody does lose one. Yeah, thanks for running um, the verification script. As you can see, this combined all of the five public keys that were previously verified. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and merge this so we can move on to some more signing steps. Sound good, everyone? Looks good to me. Looks good to me. <laughs> Damn. I know. <laughs> Always be closing, Augustus. Always, Always be closing. Be closing. All right, time all right. for step two. So we're in round two right here. We're going to start signing things. We're not playing today, everybody. We're in round two. All right, you at home following home. By the way, loving the interactivity, you all. Awesome. Keep it up. We're enjoying this a lot. So round two is the actual actual goods now. Maybe, um, Azra, if you could help explain uh, what's going on here, that would be great. Yeah. Um, let me pull up some of that draft metadata that now we have committed. So in these three signing phases that we're doing right now, um, we're doing a first to sign the root and target. So the root is going to attest to the five root keys that we have. Um, and the targets are going to attest to the five, four targets that we've added, the record public key, the CTFE key, the full CO root CA, um, and our artifact signing key that we've been signing our releases with. Um, so if you ever doubt us in the future for any of those four things, you can always come back to this metadata and verify that you indeed saw this ceremony. So what we're going to be doing is signing these sequentially um, because the later snapshot and timestamps depend on the previous results. Um, so we're going to be signing these. Uh, let me show you real quick. So we have some staged metadata just added from that previous step. Here's the root.json. And people, as they trickle in their PRs, are going to be filling in the signature field. Um, that corresponds to their key ID. Um, what you can do is you can choose a person along the way, choose your favorite key holder, and take a look at the uh, signature or key ID that they have and um, follow along theirs, um, you know, and, and check Marina's. Uh, let's see, we got some PRs trickling in. Oh my God, you guys are fast. All right, so. <laughs> and Jacques wants to see the source for number two as well. You can also just yeah. sort of get hash or the git commit hash two for each one of these steps. There's uh, another ask from Jacques, who's now my favorite in the chat. Uh, I saw a source for 1.5 in the tough cli. Can we show two, please? Yeah, I'll go for it. Um, so let me just show you real quick. Um, you know what? That's great. I'm glad that I'll just pull up Daedra's uh, verification here and I'll show you the source. So the source for step two. Um, what this is doing is signing repository for roles, root, and target, like I just mentioned before. And as we can see on the right-hand side, Santiago just added one out of three of the threshold signatures for root and targets. Uh, so this is what we expect. Um, yeah, and then people can go ahead, keep verifying those. I'm going to verify, or uh, I'll, I'm going to wait to merge all of them until we get like one or two LGTMs. And let me go ahead and show you some of the... Uh, source code here. So this is in MD, tough app, and sign. All right, so this is what it is. Actually, this one's really simple. So we're going to get the payload out that we're signing, canonicalize it, and then sign it. Um, then we're going to add your signature to your particular key ID, and then set the metadata. So this one's very simple. Um, let's go ahead and see if people can verify. So yeah, I just verified Santiago's. I'll give that an LGTM. So yeah, please trickle in those LGTMs. Any other questions for us to make sure it's still today and we didn't splice the video? <laughs> I'd expect as much from Luke Hines, though. He's, he's a little shifty, y'all. A little shifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have one. I'm just... Mike, go for it. Go for it. Who's looking for some, something to do? How about, uh, let's see, we already did Dan and Luke. Santiago. Okay, how can I help you? We're going to look up the current price of corn uh, on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. 
So if you can go to this because I'm close to Chicago, should I go on the street and yeah. ask? <laughs> if you can go to C CME group dot com. Group dot com. San Diego needs to get a Bloomberg terminal now. <laughs> and you're gonna there's gonna be a search uh you know magnifying glass up towards the upper right. I got it. Type in corn and it's gonna suggest corn future quotes. Corn futures. Click that. Are people uh, speculating with the, uh, of course they're speculating with the price of corn, right? Oh, it's like trading yeah. places. Remember that movie? Trading places? No? Oh my god. Okay, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Uh, should I tell you? <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll tell you what, what I need to hear. So so you should land on a page, you got sort of a blue header, and uh -huh. there are gonna be some, some letters and numbers like, you know, a couple inches down. Read out there's a thing that's called the Globex code. That's basically right. the ticker. I see last Z C Z one and then last yep. five six six apostrophe six. Yep. And then what's the volume? The volume is 173,159. Right. And that's what the I see. And, and on that page, just for posterity, they label that as of June 18th, 2021 at 119 PM CT. So there should be a good log of that for right. anybody taking uh, this in the future. All right, should we merge these? Yeah, I've, I'm super thrilled. I'm seeing some repeated verifiers here. Nice. All righty. Someone needs to go and verify. Let me check Santiago. Santiago seems a little dubious to me. All right, we got one verifier in there. I call in the chat, come and verify uh, number, number four. Dan, you're always getting like, 10 plus verifications like either people really trust you or they're really skeptical they trust his hair augustus you said that too <laughs> yeah that's his root of trust right? <laughs> well, if, they tr of trust. if they trusted me they wouldn't be verifying so i think i'm the, the least trustworthy <laughs> So uh, somebody so in the chat asked uh, about the price of tortillas i think it's 11 pesos am i right in mexico city is that something you can just look up? Well, you can look up yeah. the price of corn. <laughs> it's uh, a current, of corn, right? Uh, current vaccination rates for Italy. Doses given 2.5 billion, fully vaccinated 748 million, which is 9.6% of the population fully vaccinated. I said population, yeah, I, population. I was going to ask that, but... but, but uh... <laughs> So somebody ruined the question for me. Are people like viewing how strange my GitHub is acting? <laughs> like this is on the record now. Um, <laughs> watch this trick. Let's see if it happens. It didn't work this time. Obviously. Cache validation. Yep. <laughs> I think it must have been the Netflix intern. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Int integration test number two starts today. Ah, the, okay. So what email? So here's the question to verify. What email did you? Did any one of you get a funny email from a certain a streaming company yesterday? And which one was it? I mean, I got it, but. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. So, so Marina, you, you shouldn't name names live. No names. Yeah, yeah, names. exactly. Yeah, it was from HBO Max. That was hilarious. So they actually, it looks like a poor intern or somebody managed to email everyone about the integration test. Very nice. I'm very glad it worked. <laughs> yeah, already. Um, cannot get more integrated than that, right? <laughs> Are we all merged? Time for step three. Yep. I just uh, pulled up the code preemptively. Uh, <laughs> expecting that. So yeah, right now we're gonna move on after roles and target, we're moving on to snapshot right here. So this is the script that they're running, step number three, signing the snapshot. So same code as before, um, just with a different file. We're back on round three. Ding, ding, fight. 
And all right, who's going to go first? Ah, oh, wow, already. 12 wow. seconds. Ago, <laughs> you guys are fast. That's crazy. So, again, like the, the these last uh, two rounds are all pretty much the same. I just want to show this one cool thing. Now that we merged all the root and targets, we currently have success for all of the signatures validated on root and targets. Um, so now with Marina's PR number 13, she's added a signature on Snapshot. The really cool thing is I would love to see a verifier uh, in the chat verify that this SHA-512 lines up with the root.json that's in the GitHub repo. Props to you. If you can add a comment saying, you, like, you know, showing the output of what you did to get that matching SHA, like, I will like your, I, I don't have authority to give prizes, but like, if I did, I would. <laughs> I, uh, could you take a look at uh, Bob Calloway's? It's a little suspect in terms of his uh, PR. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'll go check. Thank you He's very much. He's been a little quiet. Yeah. Nobody's going to notice me. I'll turn my camera off. <laughs> yeah. number 16. All right. So, so I've got one. Yay! Oh, I, <laughs> I, I want Bob to go to github.com, Kubernetes, Kubernetes, and read the last commit Sha for us. The only thing that changes faster than the price of corn in the <laughs> Chicago Mercantile Exchange. <laughs> All right. Last one merged in was uh, four alpha um, Frank Bob seven two alpha. All right. You the same thing. That commit is a part of history. Yeah, like I said, when I go back and uh, check for approvals and merges, would love to see someone verify that the SHA for root.json in the repo matches the ones that are in the pull requests. <clears throat> Santiago's a little sus right now. <laughs> <laughs> Always just is. Among us. Just got me thinking. <laughs> So Dan, what's the plan for key rotation? What's, what's the, the plan for it? Uh, that's a, a I've got somebody in mind. I don't know if we want to spoil the special announcement just yet. Is it special? Is it like a surprise? It could be. Yeah. the The four month window though does line up pretty well with KubeCon if people are going to be there. There'll be a reveal, and there'll also be a haircut. Haircut. <laughs> how, how are we doing on, on, on views right now? We are at 75. This is actually a record for the first uh, two weeks of the launch of Cloud Native TV. So thank you all for joining. Appreciate it. See, I have no problem with the haircut there. My real problem is that now I have to wait three more months to get my hair cut at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please. Oh, please. Right I'm going to go ahead and merge the ones with the most comments. I'm actively checking how people are verifying. I see lots of script verifications, which is great. Oop, there's a request. Pineapple pizzas from the CCF, <laughs> that one. No, no, Magnus getting yeah, kicked yeah. out. He's, he's out. He's out. Oh, oh, oh what's that? Oh, keys 90 degrees. Nice. That is Tiziano. <laughs> Can you all rotate your keys 90 degrees clockwise? <laughs> what the? I'm going to rotate that. my whole computer. <laughs> <laughs> I see uh, Jay Chester. I just want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for checking that, Shaw. Shock. Yeah, all of them. Nice. Right. I see some getting merged. Yep. Prepare yourself. We got one more signing round to go. Okay, I have a question to to verify that we're actually doing this today. What's the uh, what's the price of Bitcoin right now? Or should we go with Dogecoin? Whatever you like. Who's next? Dogecoin. Is it Luke? Dogecoin. I think Bob's got to go. Bob? Yeah, Bob. What's the price of uh, Dogecoin? 
Is it Moon and Lambos yet? Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see when I can retire. According to Coindesk, it is uh, 0 0.285892. Is that good? Does anyone know? Uh, looks like it's gone down today. Oh no, like 6.57%. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Jesus. Yeah. That is insane. Well, good thing I didn't put my 401k in there. <laughs> I didn't hear. <laughs> what it is, Elon Musk knows about this ceremony, so he's well, put out a tweet <laughs> to get the price to drop. Okay. Elon, yes, and let's call Elon. And we validate that. And uh, Trishank did that on purpose so he can short it and he can make some money. <laughs> <on top of laughs> it. All right, there's a there's a question actually. There's a there's a question here. Is uh, where is the root key itself stored? Let me show you. All right, so these were the keys that were just added by the. Um, by the first round where they were provisioning keys. And when you go to the staged repo and you take a look at root.json, if you scroll down over here, the root.json is the thing that's actually signing off on the root itself. So in all of these, we'll see keys right here that we're signing. Um, these are the key IDs, and this is the public uh, key value that corresponds to this public key right here. So you can go ahead and also verify that the SHAs line up there. Um, but yeah, these are the actual keys involved and they line up with the keys that are published in this keys directory. Yeah, and we're using hardware tokens here. So the private keys are actually on the tokens. They're generated there. They can't be removed from the tokens. And the stuff we did in step one uh, used device attestations from the tokens to prove that. So you can check these keys against the certificates in step one to chain it all the way back to the manufacturer. So there's no single one root key. All the root keys are on the devices. Yeah, and I started seeing uh, some timestamp ones. So I just outputted the, the script that they just ran, step four, and that was signing the timestamp role. And as you can see, uh, C. Panato left some verification on Marina's, and now we have a signed root, a signed snapshot, and a signed targets. And this PR adds one valid signature to the timestamp. And we go ahead and check. And voila, there it is. And we have the hash of the snapshot file, which again, totally welcome to verify. So let's go ahead and verify that. Verify PR number 18. And so this is the last step. Once all of these are merged, we just copy it over to a published directory, I think it's called, and that marks it as done. Yeah, the nice thing about this is that you have a total log now of and video proof of anyone who did something to this repo. So if you need to come find us and blame us for something, you know who we are. And then the final I'm step when we're all now. done with this is to, <laughs> you know, the final step when we're all done with this and it's all public is for everybody to click fork and update your forks. So that way you're making independent copies that are all verified with Shah's back. So if we ever try to rewrite history or anything, we'll have all these different records across. Yeah, I just wanted to comment that this is a really cool thing that you guys are doing. There's very few uh, public key ceremonies, never mind private ones. No one really talks about it. So I'm really glad you guys are doing this in the open so that other people can look and learn from you guys and even do their own in the public. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas over here for Kubernetes. So. There you go. You know where there's a great place for you all to do cool. these things on? Cloudnative.tv. Ah, uh, CF, everyone, right. follow. So we did ours with Git and GitHub. For the Kubernetes one, can we use Kube Control and CRDs? I, 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 I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> you heard it here first, everyone. You heard it here first. Augustus is committing to a ceremony right. live at, at KubeCon. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> Can we can we can we tweak this later? Are we we're live, right? We are. Live. <laughs> is this is this live? Hey, Luke. Oh, you. We're doing a step four, are we? Luke, one, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marina, you've been so silent this whole time. I kind of want to get a pulse from you. How are you feeling about the whole thing? Are you good? Any thoughts? I'm good. Yeah, just just running some scripts over here. <laughs> okay. Marina, uh, shut up. Have we done a uh, like proof that you're live here yet? 
I don't. I don't think we have. I think that. It's a good All point. Right. It's a good question. I got a question. Point. All okay. right. Uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna figure out where uh, a particular flight is right now. Okay. So, cool. Go wow. to um, flightaware.com. Okay. I looked up a flight before this. It's a flight from Dubai to Minsk. Um, so up top, there's a search bar. Type in FDB1715. Okay, so fly Dubai, yeah. Find it. Okay. On the right, there's a section that says flight details and a link right under it that says view track log. Okay, so we'll hit the track log. Okay. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and it'll give you it'll give the most le recent lat long for that flight. Can you read the time, the latitude, and longitude? Okay, so the most recent time I see is Friday at two forty seven twenty three p.m. Um, Eastern time, and then the latitude is forty two point nine zero two nine, and the longitude is thirty three point six eight nine four, and it's That's heading. What I see. 292 degrees um, left. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> Mike, this is amazing. Amazing level of verifying. Oh, yeah, exactly. Are actually yeah. Live. You're not worried about your personal fortune like Tashank is. You're worried about the flight paths and all that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you personal were going to ask wealth. for. I thought you were going to ask for Oceanic 815, Mike. Where, where's that flight? <laughs> I've just yeah, had a great idea. Yes, that'd be great. You I have a really network. good idea for a verification, okay? I know this is sort of coming off the cuff, so to say. Somebody open a Twitter page, put a, an OTP code in, and then post it as a tweet. Then there you've we got go, a exactly. unique timestamp then. Now the audience is being really cheeky. They want us to do a, a, a reverse Turing test. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always fail that one. And uh, Dan, I think, needs to explain his Oceania, Oceania flight. Oh, yeah. uh, that thing. was the uh, the, lo the flight from Lost, the TV show. <laughs> uh, the flight that just disappeared, I thought. Oh, you <laughs> watched Lost? It was the Malaysia one. And also Everybody fire. did. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid someone was going to ask about MH370. Very sad. Yeah. All right, I'm happy to report. Um, the team and Ooh. I have successfully verified round four. What do we do? Do we all fork now? No. We're step five. Hey, can we, Azra, can we go through just a recap? There we go. Yep. Yep. So we uh, we got up to round four. So after provisioning the keys that you saw in the keys directory, we created that tough repository, did three rounds of signing sequentially on the four roles that we have. And now we're on this final, final, final publishing step. So we need one person from the key holders to run step five, which I will show you again uh, what they are going to run. So let me go over here, um, show you step five. And all that does is publish the repository. And I will show you again uh, the script. Um, so yeah, who's going to do that? I did it. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, this is all it does. It goes through the code go tough repo dot commit, which will verify all the signatures and push it to like a, a repository. So it's no longer going to be staged. Um, and this is our final step. Um, if you run verify on this, uh, now what we're going to be doing is taking the go tough client and seeing if you can successfully verify and download the targets with that. So you'll see some special output. Um, first verifier, uh, I'll give a shout out to. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. So yeah, basically what it did, it moved it all to a repository rather than stage. Got root.json, and we got a move here, file renamed with no changes. Good job, Jan. I trust you. Didn't sneak any weird binary files in here. And let's take a look at verify. Nice. All right. So strong Jay Z posted what happened when you did. Uh, oops. Let's do scripts. Shout, shout out to James Strong. Yeah. Yep. And Carlos, of course. Carlos. Car Carlos, the man beast. 
So here you see the four <laughs> targets successfully retrieved and verified against that metadata that we just created our, together. Um, all right, yeah, that was the final step. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple more verifications on this and then yeah, we're, we're really good to go. Fork, tweet, publish, give me a shout out. There's a, there's a question, uh, excuse me, there's a thought here. This video is not legit until somebody's pet interrupts the live stream. Anybody's pet, please uh, go ahead and interrupt the live stream. Okay. I'll go get one. Somebody. <laughs> oh, yeah. He has a large dog. That's right. Starting his YubiKey. <laughs> this is awesome. There we go. Pets, everyone. <laughs> yes. Again. Right there. She was like, you woke me up from a nap just to do this. <laughs> can can we all do a standing O for Azra, great. please? Can we all just seriously? Like... Great job. If we swallow our you, <laughs> <laughs> I got a second. <laughs> ah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, folks nice at home, <laughs> can somebody wrap up everything we did in, in a TLDR? Are we good? Let's just put a, put a bow on it. Who wants to go? <laughs> Yeah, we you are. Go ahead. All... You ahead. Yeah, so we're all done. As soon as this gets merged, we have the root. Everybody click fork, copy it off of GitHub, clone it, put it on GitLab, put it on your flash drives, put it anywhere you can. Uh, we now have the root, and everything we do will be chained back to this one. I want to thank Azra for being the coordinator uh, for all of this. Thank Dan and Cloud Native TV, of course. Follow this for other awesome shows. How many viewers do we hit? Was uh, 80. 80. 80 a peak. Is that, yeah. is that a wow. new record? It's a record. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. And thanks everybody here for verifying. This was awesome. And everyone, look, I mean, this, I, I, I was not mincing words when I say, like all jokes aside, we had a lot of fun today, but this was a monumental thing. I don't think this ever been done elsewhere. This has been like in public. I am so excited to, to be part of this, but this group has been fantastic. Also, you, you folks at home that were that we're part of this. It's just, you know, great, really good interact activity and all of that. So it was a really cool process, everyone. And thank you all. Um, I'm going to have some parting words here real quick, uh, just to, for, for next week, y'all, just so I will thank you. So everyone, again, I'm closing with today, uh, this weekend, the holiday is called, uh, it's called Juneteenth. It's a day of recognition, education, and celebration. I want us to ensure that like we're thinking in terms of you know uh, taking care of one another and being the community that we are. We're one large community, one large community. I want you to I want to thank everybody that was part of the SIG store uh, key ceremony. And I want you to remember community, the spotlight is on you.